Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're covering the latest stories, news, and innovation coming to you from leaders in global connectivity and digital infrastructure. I'm Barb Mitchell, and I'm pleased to be joined here today uh, with Yasutaka Mizu, global CMO of Colt Technology. What a pleasure to have you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And I'm really pleased to go through the session with you. Absolutely. I'm so excited. And and you, I know, have a session. I think you're focusing on a lot of your conversation right now is around preparing for AI, preparing for that AI uh, revolution, we should we should say. And so can you just let's start there, if you don't mind, dive right in to the good stuff. A lot of people are, are talking about this, um, but but can you just give us some what you may focus on for that conversation are we ready for ai and so are we i guess is the question <laughs> yeah it was uh one of our key questions which was brought up in a panel discussion we had earlier today yeah and um i i w basically um answered that question by saying a massive yes because um we don't even realize, but for example, um, Microsoft is going to introduce uh, Copilot um, on their Microsoft Azure and um, also Microsoft 365 um, from November. So a lot of companies and also a lot of individuals will start using um, AI functions um, along with the business applications. And we can't really tell which part is actually done by AI and which part is actually done by human as well. So whether or not we are ready, um, we will have to go and cope with that um, as well. Yeah. And I think um, we call technology services have been using AI and machine learning from quite some time ago. And um, we actually introduced it about three years ago in order to understand our customers by leveraging the technology oh, as well. Yeah, that's so interesting. I mean, I think so many people now are sitting back some a little scared, I think, and some, you know, just curious, you know, about what the future holds. But as you said, and, and we were chatting earlier, I mean, you've been leveraging uh, tools for AI for quite some time now. Um, and so what plans do you have to continue that to, to aid your business, but others, your, your partners and, and customers? Right. Yeah. It's actually embedded quite heavily in our business already. So yeah. um, day to day operation is based on um, a lot of uh, machine learning technology that we've already deployed. So we used um, machine learning technology to understand intent of the customers. So we roughly can um, understand what customers are interested in. So mm. before even we engage with the customers, we can have preconception of what they may be interested in, which actually helped to boost the pipeline by 120% as well. So it's just one of the examples. But um, if we use the AI in the, um, in the right direction, um, we can actually not only boost the productivity, but also boost the customer experience and mm. their satisfaction overall as well. Yeah, so interesting. I mean, the the applications are endless, aren't they? And and can be can be used in, in such a powerful way. So, that's great. Thanks for that that bit of insight there on how you're already doing that. Um, and so, but outside of the world of AI, lots happens. I think all the time with with Colt. But um, tell us about this week's announcement. Right. So um, I, I'm really excited to talk through this because um, it came out yesterday yeah. and um, we expanded our network in France, especially in three cities um, in France. Um, we already had coverage in um, Paris and Lyon and um, some other areas as well. But we extended our, our coverage into Bordeaux, into Toulouse and to Lille as well. And yeah. um, we are basically covering most of the major cities across France and also are connecting those cities to the rest of the world as well. Yeah, in, yeah amazing. Yeah, that's uh, it's great to see that news come out. And it's, like I said, it's always good. There's always, it feels like something happening. And on that note, your role, you're leading global marketing for Colts as CMO. And, and so I'm sure you're already starting to think about your plans going into 2024. Is there anything yeah. you might be able to Give us a little sneak peek into sort of what's in store. Absolutely. I think we, we, we are going to double down on the use of the science-based sort of um, um, understanding of our customers and our business. Yeah. Um, we've already built our data lake and um, we started to apply 
um, AI and machine learning technology to even understand our customers better. Um, we actually introduced this um, during the COVID, right? So yeah. um, we were able to tell which customers are needing more um, bandwidth. And also we were able to tell which customers are sort of um, struggling in that situation as well. So we have been able to offer um, flexible payment services in a proactive way. And after going through the pandemic, um, yeah. they actually um, ramped up their business again to uh, probably better than where they used to be. Yeah. And they are now coming back to us for um, to tell us that um, we were the only company that helped them in a pro proactive way um, whilst they were having a hard time as well. So it really depends how we apply AI um, to, um, to make our business better. And uh, probably the um, one of the really interesting application of AI is really to build intent-based network, which means um, we can choose to connect certain um, destination by choosing a specific path, for example, greener path, um, where um, CO2 sort of um, consumption is lower in specific countries or areas as well. Mm -hmm. So we've started to look into that um, with, um, with the, the rest of the company as well. And it's not something that we can do it just on ourselves. So um, we are working with other partners to really build this together so that we can make this a better role that we can live as well. Yeah, it's, that's amazing to hear. And you're, I mean, I completely agree. It's, it's, a, it's a, the global ecosystem of, of partners and people working together towards a, a future that, uh, you know, we, we all want to share. So, yeah. so thank you for that. And, um, you know, we're we're still. It feels like it's been a long first day, but it is still the first day. And so, it, you know, what are you most looking forward to for the remainder of the show this week? It's absolutely the partnering opportunities yeah. um, across all over the world. Um, we see um, customers and partners from completely different part of the world. I, I think the um, number of um, international travelers have increased this year. So I'm yeah. really hoping to interact with many of those people from different part of the world so that uh, we can um, start building a partnership um, and strengthen it um, with the existing partners as well. Yeah, fantastic. And so for anyone, while you're still at the show, is there a way that people can connect with you and your team? And then, you know, after Capacity Europe is over and everyone's gone back to their respective homes, how can they find you? Yeah, um, we have a room um, upstairs okay. and um, you can find it from the app, yes, which is yeah. um, really useful as well. And um, you can actually get to choose who that, uh, who you want to meet um, within Colt as well. We have uh, more than 50 sort of um, representatives from Amazing. us as well. So you can choose anybody, including myself, and yeah. uh, just book our time so that we can um, meet and start discussion as well. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Mizu. Right. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate your time and your insights here today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Of course. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you viewers for tuning in again to JSA TV and JSA podcasts. Until next time, happy networking.